How's it going? Hopefully all is well with you and yours. I'm just now getting up and moving for the day. I was up really late last night because of my event on Mount Shasta. The days leading up to that event were so stressful. The hours leading up to the event were very stressful. It's like everything that could go wrong pretty much was going wrong. I had a lot of people manifesting against me and hoping that I failed, but I am excited to say that the event was a huge success and everybody that came was impressed and we had a really wonderful time. That other event did happen. Thankfully, they were farther away from us than what I had originally thought. It sounded like they had a pretty big crowd, but it also sounded like they were having some sort of concert over there, so it wasn't... Definitely wasn't like my drum circle, and I would not have liked their drum circle. I have grown to really appreciate the intimate fellowship fire and feast that we have at my events, where you can actually talk to people and learn new things, learn about them, and you go home actually knowing people rather than sitting in a big crowd of people just banging on drums and singing. Like, that's cool, I'm not knocking that, but it's a different type of bonding when you are making music in a big group of people than when, you know, you have a, a more intimate group of people that are actually communicating with each other. I would love to make and record some music in the future, even with others. I love to sing harmony, and yeah, I look forward to the golden age where we have more time to be able to do the things that we want and live our dreams and passions, and just to be free. So, yeah, I really enjoyed the fire, and I'm thankful for all of the people that showed up. I got there a little bit late, so uh, there was already people up further towards Bunny Flats than where they should go to be at the event, and that's where I put the signs, so some people didn't end up finding me. I probably should have walked up the street and, you know, made my presence known and even stopped by the other campfire to see if there was anybody there for me, but I really didn't have an interest in going to the other fire and I had a lot of things still left to do when I got there. None of my fruit was cut and, yeah, so I was running around for the first like maybe hour or two, and I was actually grateful that people hadn't showed up until later than that because I had time to kind of relax and just cut my fruit and saute some onions and some people, you know, showed up early. There's only, you know, one or two people at the beginning, and basically I got to sit and chat. Well, I guess I wasn't sitting. I was standing and chatting with them, and that helped my stress level go down. And by the time the bigger group arrived, I was prepared, and so it was really nice. Hopefully for the next event, it won't be so stressful. I got, like, I bought three tables, and a new stove and a bunch of things for this event to make it legit and yeah it went really great i can't think of much of anything that i would change besides maybe walking up and seeing if there was other people looking for me i apologize if you are one of those people it sucks that I'm also banned on Facebook, so you can't even get a hold of me if you wanted to on that. So, way better when we have the event at Ski Bowl because you just go all the way up the hill until you can't go anymore. And there's a parking lot. And then you'll see a stone pathway that takes you right to a big circle with some picnic tables and an altar and a fire pit in it. So it's extremely hard to miss.
this other uh, site that we were at last night kind of had to go down a hill and it was surrounded by trees. It made it more intimate. I actually really enjoyed that. But it was harder for people to find. So there's that. I do like it better on the top of the mountain for a lot of reasons, but one thing is that you can literally see all of the night sky. Well, not all of it. Obviously, I can't see the Southern Hemisphere stars, but you shouldn't be able to see the Southern Hemisphere stars from the Northern Hemisphere, okay? It's like if you're in a big room, a huge room, and there is a light all the way over there, then there, if the room is big enough, then there's a likelihood that I can't see the light. Okay, it's the same thing. The farther away from an object that you get, the less likely you are to be able to see it. Should be common sense, but hey, when you're programmed to think that you are evolved pond scum living on a giant spinning ball that came into existence by some random chance Big Bang, then common sense and intellect might be a little bit harder to come by. Anyways, I'm going to go and get a shower and finish getting cleaned up. And then I have to get things cleaned up from last night and put away and stored for the next event, which will be at Old Ski Bowl. Well, fingers crossed, I guess. They tried the uh, forest service person that I know told me that they were all thinking that around August 1st the gate would be open, so that should let us up there for our next full moon event. But if there's still snow, then we don't really want to go up there anyways because then we'll be walking around in snow and it'll be even colder than it was down at Bunny Flats. So I hope that you have a wonderful day. May God and the Goddess bless you.